By the end of this video, I'm gonna take you from what I think is the biggest setup mistake that could ruin your golf game to fixing it. From the tee and down the fairway with your irons. It's, it, it couldn't be any simpler. Now, if you're brand new to this channel, well, warm welcome. We're a channel that's powered by you, the viewers, and I actually can't tell you how many names have asked for this. Look, there's about five or six comments around this screen right now, so, here we go. This is the proper setup, and this is how you fix one of the biggest mistakes. So we're gonna start from the tee and fix your setup with driver, but also we're gonna jump down the fairway because what hits the green? Iron shots, so don't miss them out. I know we all wanna fix driver, but irons are equally as important. So biggest bugbear is with the longer clubs to start with is getting a lot of knee bend and getting a very, very vertical upper body. Now, I see this with new golfers, even golfers that have played for a long time. When our setup gets lazy, we get a little bit like this, okay? Now, when you're set up like this position, I think the, the swing gets very arms driven. We can't find the middle of the face very often. And also our consistency goes rock bottom. So the fix is really nice and simple. Imagine you're at home, perching on the side of a bar stool or Here's another one. Imagine you're a goalkeeper, or imagine you're an American footballer ready to tackle somebody. We want to be ready. The golf swing's pretty dynamic, or as dynamic as we want to make it. So to get into that, just get inside your golf ball by just roughly a club head, as I have done here, okay? Grip your golf club. Sole of the club to the sky, keeping your legs straight, just lower it to the ground. Now, this will feel ridiculous. And to stop that, I'm gonna show you how. Bow over now, keeping your legs straight until the club hits the ground, then slightly bend your knees. Now, for most of you, that's gonna feel like this. But what I want you to do is get your golf mate, take a photo, and then you can just see that it's actually perfect or in a great place, and then you can start believing it. And all you've got to do on the golf course then is shuffle in, keeping everything equidistant, and you can hit it away. Dead easy, couldn't be any easier than that from the tee. Now that was made to look a little bit more effortless and I'll, for one minute I'm not saying I look effortless, but think about this logically, yeah? Your golf ball's down on the ground. If our shoulders are set here and we're sort of moving like this, we're making the job pretty hard, aren't we? But if we get a little bit more over the golf ball, how straight away you can stay in posture, be a bit more dynamic, like the guys we see on TV. Right, jump down the fairway. We'll show you where that one finished because that's actually a really nice hit. And then we'll, uh, we'll show you how to get the correct setup for your irons. Now, I'd like to say we can hit an iron from here, but the 200 mark is all the way up here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna jump probably about 50 yards for the forwards, get to around seven iron yardage and show you how. I've underestimated the window. It's a little bit shorter than we thought, but I've got my four iron and my nine iron in my hand here. I'm gonna show you how the process would remain the same, but it's just that understanding that you will be a little bit further away from the golf ball, depending on what club that you've got. So I'm gonna rest my nine iron in nine iron ball position. I'm gonna rest my four iron in four iron ball position, and I'm gonna go through the same process, okay? Legs around shoulder width apart, keep my legs and knees straight. Lower the club till it's parallel to the ground. Now you can see clearly there how nine iron's a lot shorter than my four. It also looks very thin. I do question why I use these. Okay, so all I'm gonna do now is bend over and tilt over from the hips, then slightly bend the knees. Now, I need a reminder of that to be fair myself. Like, I'm guilty of getting a bit lazy here. So this is exactly where I wanna be. So if I just keep my nine iron in my hand, my ability to hit down and compress that iron goes through the roof. From here, it makes the golf swing very, very hard. So let's give this a go. Also, if I hit the green here, you 100% have to hit that thumbs up button. 155 out from the flag. So again, I'd press my golf club, and this is what I do on the course, just inside the club head. Keep the legs straight, club up, parallels the ground, bend over, bend the knees. Now I'm in. Here we go, can I hit the green? Tell you what, it's straight down the flag. Get on the green. That definitely means you've got to hit that thumbs up button. Thank you so much for watching today's tip.